My name is Jason Krieger. I'm with Stratostar, and today we are going to be talking about uh, preparing a high altitude weather balloon for flight. And uh, we have some payload lines here, um, our weather balloon, and uh, I'm going to talk about how to put everything together to get ready for a flight. So, first thing you're going to need to do is get some payload lines. We have um, some here, and you're going to want to set up a rig similar to this where you tie two loops at one end using uh, figure eight knots that you use for climbing and uh, once you tie these knots um, here you'll have about two to three inch loop and uh, you want to find the middle and tie another figure eight knot um, at the other end and so I have a bigger one here that we're going to use um, to attach to our weather balloon so when handling the weather balloon um, you don't want to touch the thin part of the weather balloon. This isn't a bag, this is an old balloon. And uh, you're just gonna wanna reach in and pull the neck out. And you can see that this had been exposed to um, light. And you can see this part is a little bit more white than here. And uh, we're just gonna pull the neck out, try not to touch the thin part. And uh, we're gonna attach these lines to the neck of this balloon here uh, with some zip ties. So what we're going to do now is place this insert inside the neck of the balloon. This is uh, a smaller balloon and smaller balloon neck. You can see here we have a larger balloon neck. Some different manufacturers have different size necks. Uh, this one we're going to use a three quarter inch piece of PVC. And this one we actually need a two inch piece PVC that will go inside the neck of the balloon. And here's uh, one of Stratostar's custom um, payload attachment systems here. Uh, but today we're just going to use zip ties and this line. I'm going to slide this in the neck of the balloon about three or four inches and until it's about to the top of where um, the thin rubber meets the thick rubber. And then we're going to take uh, these zip ties. You want to make sure you get um, you know, high quality zip ties. These actually have a little metal tab inside and uh, are very good in low temperature which is important for high altitude ballooning. You're going to slide the zip tie through one loop and through the other loop and then you're going to zip this to the piece of PVC that's inside your balloon. Um, just make it a pretty snug fit and you're going to attach three more of these zip ties here and then we're going to put some tape on it. All right, so it should look something like this, and we're going to just make sure all these zip ties are cinched pretty tight. And uh, then you're going to want to clip the end of these zip ties off right at the base. And uh, we're going to take some electrical tape, and we're just going to wrap that around so there aren't any sharp edges. And what this will allow you to do now is uh, you can tie a safety line to these lines here right to your helium tank. And so when you're filling, all the stress can be on these lines which transfers to the balloon and uh, you'll be ready to, uh, to let it go and it'll be a lot easier to hold and you, you, you won't have the uh, balloon fly away in case your hand slips. Um, and then once we get outside, all you're going to need to do to um, you fill up your balloon and then you just twist this neck uh, after you have all your helium in and zip it off and you're ready to fly. Uh, thanks for watching today. Good luck with all your launches and we hope to hear from you soon.